Hey guys, if you're looking to change careers and get into analytics, look no further. My name is Aaron Oliver and I've gone from a financial analyst to a senior data analyst and nearly doubled my income in about seven months. So first things first, there are an unlimited number of ways that you could transition from one field to another, particularly data. This is just how I did it. So tip zero is to do your research and choose the path that is right for you. The path I've chose has worked out great for me thus far, but that doesn't mean it's the right way for you to go about it. So take your time and consider all your options. I'm getting a master's degree, but you could do a boot camp, you could do courses online, you could even slowly merge your job description to that of a data analyst over time by taking on more data projects and using analytics skills in your current projects. So getting right into it, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I used to be a corporate financial analyst, which I didn't find to be the most interesting career field. But either way, when I graduated about a year and a half ago, I found myself with a financial analyst role at a Fortune 500 company in Southeast Virginia, which is where I'm from. I won't bore you with the details, but if I had to categorize that job, it would be something like this. Coworkers, management, cool. Job duties, boring, tedious. So I didn't think I was gonna stick it out long term and I knew from a class I took in undergrad in analytics that that could be an interesting and cool career path for me to look into, so I did. I found out that a local university was offering an online master's in data science. Um, in my case, this was the University of Virginia where I'm still going currently. So I decided to jump in. I had already taught myself Python. I've got a video on that in the description if you're interested to do the same. I figured that a master's degree would be a good way to get the credentialing problem out of the way, to sort of signal to potential employers that, hey, I've got the hard skills needed to succeed in a data analytics, data science job. This is where the first real tip comes in. If you're gonna go with this route, you need to choose a university that has a strong reputation in the market or the particular company that you're looking to enter. Like I said, I chose the University of Virginia because it has a really strong reputation, not just in Virginia, but in Richmond particularly, which is where I wanted to go. So I got accepted into the program and started taking classes in January 2020, when I really wanted to accelerate my process to a full-time career transition. I did a little bit of research on what the easiest way to do that was, and thanks to some guidance from people in my life, and a little bit of guidance from other people on YouTube, shout out specifically to Ken G, who suggested this path, I decided while I was in college to go ahead and get an internship because once I got out, I wouldn't be eligible. And I know with my finance career path, having an internship really made employers a lot more interested in talking to me. So tip two, if you go the school route while you're in school, if you can afford it, take an internship. It's gonna make your resume look a lot better and it's gonna make employers a lot more willing to talk to you. That said, you'll notice I said, if you can afford it, all I had to do was take a 50% pay cut, which Fortunately, I'm in a position to be able to do. Your position might not be the same, and if not, don't do it. It sounds silly, but if you can't afford to take an internship, you don't have to, but it can accelerate things. And I have a video on how I used an internship to switch career paths linked in the description as well. So once I'd been working on my internship for a while, I decided to start looking for full-time jobs. And fortunately for me, I'd made a connection in college with a company that I wanted to work at and he put in a referral for me. Which brings us to the third tip, make connections with alumni that work where you wanna work. I know you've probably heard that advice before, but it's very important that you do so. If you don't have a referral applying to a large company, generally speaking, you're not gonna get looked at. Now, the easiest way to do this is when you're in college, make connections with as many people as possible. That way, when you get out, you can look to see if any of the people that you know work at the company. Chances are, at least a couple of them will. But you're watching this video, meaning you're thinking about different options. And so if you didn't happen to do that in college, then what you can do is look on LinkedIn for alumni from your school that work at the company that you wanna work at. In my experience, these people are generally pretty receptive to you reaching out as long as you do so a little bit more tactfully. I wouldn't recommend reaching out to someone on LinkedIn and saying, hey, I know I've never spoken to you before, but can you put in a good word for me with your company? They're probably not gonna to wanna to do that. They don't know who you are. So reach out, try to make a good impression, tell them you're trying to get into their field, and then later on, if you have a good rapport with them and you feel like they would be interested in it, ask them to refer you for a particular job. That's what I did. The full recruiting process took about two months. 
I had quite a few interviews. I had a data challenge, which I'll talk about in a later video. But at the end of it, I got the offer and it was for almost twice as much money as I was making as a financial analyst. So in a little under seven months, that's not bad. I worked at my internship for about seven months altogether and they actually offered me a full-time job too. The offer just wasn't as competitive, so I couldn't take it. I did really want to work with them, but I couldn't turn down what the other place was offering. But I will make another video in the future on how to get your internship to offer you a full-time job. So that's it. That's how I did it. Now, like I said before, this doesn't have to be the right plan for you. This is just what worked for me. There are a ton of other options like I mentioned before, but I would say the three most important things are get credentialed, that's with a boot camp, that's with a master's degree, that's with Coursera courses or whatever it is. Get experience, that's with an internship or you could do that at your current job. Take some of the tasks you've been given and try to think of them from a data analytics, data science perspective and get that under your belt and list it on your resume. Number three, get a referral. Like I said, if you were fortunate enough to make connections in your undergraduate degree, leverage those connections. If not, you can look on LinkedIn at companies that you wanna work for, see if there's any alumni there, reach out, make a genuine connection, and then ask for a referral. And then get the job, that's it. It is that simple. It's not that easy, but it is that simple. So if you liked the video, like the video, leave a comment, tell me what you think. If you think I missed anything, let me know. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.